first want to thank the sponsors who make this who are making this uh, possible. Our whole sponsor is BIBD. Our platinum sponsor is uh, Progressive. Our gold sponsor is CIC Environmental Services. And uh, our silver sponsor is BLNG. Um, so without further ado, I'd like to uh, properly introduce our guest today. Uh, his name is Francis uh, Sol Solanios. Uh, Francis is the uh, co-founder of Youth for Livable Communities, uh, which is a, a multi-award NGO uh, to promote sustainability and na nation building in the Philippines. Youth for Livable Community, YLC. Yeah? So what is YLC? YLC was awarded by uh, Bayanihan Sadan Award. So, so he received this really distinguished award from the Office of the President of the Philippines. So that's really big deal. And Francis is the first person in the Philippines to be recognized by the World Economic Forum as a cultural leader. Uh, for those people who don't know, uh, World Economic Forum is, um, is you know, uh, one of the, the elite platform of the world whereby every January, um, you know, the, the world's most influential, most powerful people come together in Switzerland in a town called Davos. You know, people like Jack Ma, people like uh, U2, you know, all kind of people, politicians, all come together to talk about the, the, the state of the future of the world. Now, to be recognized by such a platform uh, is no joke. So, so we have amongst us you know, someone who is really, really distinguished. Uh, and, and he is also a brother from another mother. If you look at our hairstyle, uh, <laughs> uh, you, you know that we are related one way or another. <laughs> um, so so uh, Francis is an artist, a fashion designer that uh, pioneered the term trashing Way below, long, way long before uh, you know the the environmental sustainability term was hot, you know about uh, eight to ten years ago. So um, you know he's widely sought after speaker, uh, and, and he has exhibited and trained uh, in the region and around the world. So here we have uh, Francis. So before I give it up to Francis to to welcome him, I, I'd like to uh, show a clip of uh, who Francis is in. So, uh... Yes. Okay, wonderful. Being Home is an art installation that talks about our personal introspection on our role towards the changes in our communities. It's the link between urban growth, heritage conservation, environmental changes and the communion of people. Guests are invited to witness and be involved in this cave-like installation that is filled with drawings and lines and paintings depicting the change of time of heritage spaces all the way into becoming urban cities. As creatives, architects, designers, artists, we ask ourselves, what are our roles on all these changes, making sure that we move our communities forward while preserving the culture and heritage in all of our spaces? So, we, we are on Francis Solano's website. Um, you know, I want to show some of Francis' work, uh, fashion. So he, he's the one that popularized the term trash. And look at look at his beautiful design here. Uh, you know, this one is with uh, SMC side sides with the C, and then look look at this wonderful wonderful design, all out of uh, recycled materials and trash, I understand. So uh, Francis, can you unmute yourself if there's anything that you want to say about this? 
you know, you're more than welcome. Uh, but so we have this and then we have um, art. Look at his drawing. So these are some of the uh, awards that uh, and jewelry that uh, Francis has created. And then we have community. Uh, Francis community work is here. So look at all the places that he's been, you know, spoken at before. And lastly, some installations. So without further ado, I'll stop here and I would like to uh, introduce Francis. Francis, welcome. Yes, how about that? Wonderful. Welcome on board. Hello. hello. <laughs> good morning, Sean, and good morning to everyone who is currently watching us um, all over the world. Um, I, I am exhausted just uh, by introducing you. I, I will not uh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a different experience when you're watching yourself being introduced. So uh, it's making me more nervous, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet you can't wait uh, for what you have to say. Uh, well, I'm very excited to share what we need to, to be sharing today. And I'm also very happy for your invitation and to the schools and to the students who are tuned in right now. Thank you so much for the gift of your time to be with us. And we hope that we'd be able to give value. Now you've just stolen my line. That's the gift of your time, Francis. And we are all here trying to absorb all the goodness and all the wisdom from you. Now, I want to dive right into our conversation right now. Um, you, you know, what, what is interesting about you, Francis, is that most people, you, you do not write this in your resume, but most people do not know that you are not a trained artist. Um, your training is in business. Um, can, can you share with us your uncommon journey? You know, how, how do you get to where you are right now? Um, since ever since childhood, I've always been playing with with crayons, with with recycled materials, with with garbage. And I could remember during grade school, I would turn uh, candy wrappers to jewelry, um, mm -hmm. DIY jewelry. However, uh, during college, I was asked by 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 my father to go to business school. A very typical of um, Filipino Chinese family, and so I had to go to business school. Uh, however, I was very fortunate enough to be mentored by one of the most revered entrepreneurs in the Philippines. Uh, that is my mentor, uh, Kenneth Kobonpue, and he happens to be a furniture designer, an industrial designer as well. And so there, my interest towards creativity, towards the art, towards design was once again sparked. And, and so it was a beautiful marriage of, of, of design and art with business background. So with a business degree, I was able to use it to further my arts and design uh, journey. So yeah. That, that is very interesting. So what, what you're telling us is during your business school, you already were involved with art and design. Uh, the, uh, during my business school, it was purely economics, purely uh, finance, marketing. However, when I did internship during my business school, that was the time when I did internship at the furniture, uh, right. furniture design company. I mean, furniture design organization. And that sparked my interest uh, further. Wow. Did you, did you um, envisage yourself to be where you are today while you were in university? Or were you going to graduate to work for KPMG or, or you know, Google? To be honest, I, I never had that long-term vision when I was still in college. Uh, in fact, I didn't even know what to take up in my degree. Uh, all I knew was that I had to follow my dad, which is go to business school and just to finish it. And then I was 
under the impression I would follow the Philipp uh, our family business, which is into real estate and construction. Uh, however, I took a huge detour, a very huge detour, and then went on my own using w business with with design and art. So it was a totally different um, different side of the spectrum. Yeah. 